Hello, I'm Vicki Bond, and I work here at ACDHH. I am the Interpreter Outreach and Development Coordinator. Did you know that October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month? Over the years, ACDHH has recognized that various shelters and domestic violence related organizations are not accessible for deaf and hard of hearing survivors of domestic and sexual violence. Often, if a deaf or hard of hearing individual called to seek assistance, shelters would be at a loss as to what to do and how to work with that person and often couldn't afford interpreters. ACDHH recognized that this was a problem and in order to solve that problem, we partnered with an organization called ACES DV. That stands for the Arizona Coalition to End Sexual and Domestic Violence. ACES DV is a statewide organization that helps to coordinate services between various shelters and other organizations statewide. A partnership with ACES DV meant that we had the opportunity to go to various locations and train shelters and other organizations on how to be accessible to deaf and hard of hearing survivors. Two ACDHH staff members have been involved with those trainings, Becca Bailey and Michelle Michaels. They are both specialists here at ACDHH. They trained various shelter staff members and the people that they worked with were very amenable to having us there. The second step to solving this issue was to train interpreters. On October 3rd and 4th, myself and a colleague named Doreen Nicholas, who is the lead trainer for ACES DV, offered a training for interpreters. The training taught how to work with survivors of domestic violence. It was a wonderful training and it talked about how trauma impacts a person's brain. Often when someone experiences trauma, they're unable to think or communicate clearly. So we helped the interpreters to best determine how to work with someone who is experiencing that type of traumatic situation. The training also talked about the advocacy system and what that looks like. So interpreters are prepared when they go there to make sure that they are able to work effectively with the advocate and shelter staff so that the environment is accessible for deaf and hard of hearing survivors. If you're interested in getting training to become an advocate or you're an interpreter and you would like to be prepared to work in domestic violence situations effectively, please contact us here at ACDHH. You can also contact ACES DV. On their website, acesdv.org, you can find a list of all of the trainings that they offer. If you have experienced domestic violence and you would like help, call the hotline at 480-890-3039. That hotline is a central screening service for the state of Arizona, and they will help you to locate a place where you can go to be safe.